champion of the world, Dustin the Diamond Warrior. I've got knocked down, I've climbed back up. Like I said before, man, this is my belt. I earned this in blood. I paid in full. This is mine. Oh, big uppercut there for Poirier. Corazani's in a world of pain here. This one might be done. Dustin That's it. Poirier! The sheer number of strikes that Poirier will throw when he has his man hurt is truly terrifying. Oh, oh beautiful elbow. And the uppercuts. My goodness. What a great elbow. And still. His killer instinct was sharp from the moment he debuted and would continue to create trouble for the featherweight division for almost half a decade. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Dustin the Diamond Warrior! After his 30-27 domination of Grisby, it was time for another striking showcase for the Louisiana native. And that is what he got in his second UFC bout against Jason Young. Every time his opponent would attempt to disengage, Poirier would throw beautiful, unorthodox combinations from unilateral stance, which gave him the ability to load equal power in either hand. Oh, nice combo by Poirier! The fight would be back and forth, and wasn't Poirier's best work. At this stage in his career, it was becoming increasingly apparent to ringside observers that this fighter was going to be a problem for the division. Career victories, flying needs. Oh, big kick to the body by Poirier. Big shot. And a miss by Young. Poirier's tired now, though, Mike. His defense, however, left much to be desired. Poirier would be too comfortable in range and his unilateral stance would cause him to be unable to effectively retreat if his opponent mounted a counterattack. The floaty technicality of his offense was not enough by itself and adjustments needed to be made. This point was echoed after losses to the Korean Zombie and Cub Swanson, where his footwork continued to get him into trouble and allow his opponents to capitalize on some easily avoidable openings. Following the loss to Swanson, Poirier began to show a bit more patience in his striking. His fight with Eric Koch at UFC 164 is a great example of this. Nice beautiful kick. Nice. Slip lip. Yeah, up. He got tagged there. And he got again. tagged again. Poirier pushing oh, forward. Good now. left by Poirier. And again he comes forward. Oh, oh right hand! Big shot! Huge punch by Poirier! Poirier is all over him! Poirier was still the aggressive combination puncher from previous bouts, but he avoided the eagerness that got him in trouble in the past. He didn't engage on every opening. The fight ended up being a war with both men having the other in trouble. But it was certainly a turning point for the current lightweight contender. This, and a knockout loss to Irish superstar Conor McGregor, finally got the cogs turning in Poirier's mind. And the changes that came as a result of these fights were rapid. So far we're seeing very good striking by Poirier, using that good reach advantage as a big knee. Oh! oh! For that power, he's certainly to the proper side. He's been lining up, and look at this! It was an American top team. Oh, the uppercut just misses! And a left! Oh my! Diego's in trouble! Yep! Diego's gotta get out of there! He's bleeding! So Corasani has been opened up, and Poirier continues to land! He's gotta move! He can't just absorb oh. those shots! He's in trouble! He's getting lit up! And he's getting hurt again! Oh, big uppercut there for Poirier! He took him, him down and let him up! He got rocked again! He's Poirier hurt! Looking to finish! 
Oh, Coruscant, he's in a world of pain here. This one might be done. Dustin That's it. Poirier! This could be it. He, it looks like he's going over. out. That's it. That's it. Dustin, the Diamond Poirier! His ascent to the lightweight division was one of his best moves of all. The added power and easier weight cut allowed him to truly flow inside the octagon like he never had before. Starting with a sensational first round finish of Diego Ferreira that gave him the confidence he needed to trust his instincts after a few tough losses. It was his second fight at 155 against Yancy Medeiros that would show a big adjustment in his game. Feels that Medeiros leaves a lot of Owens. He returns tonight 63 days. Oh! The awkward unilateral stance was gone, and Dustin would step back out of range effortlessly. There by Poirier, he finds the target. Oh! Big body shots! Marks that tip! By using both orthodox and southpaw stances fluidly, he could attack from angles that his opponent could never anticipate. And Medeiros learned that the hard way, with Poirier stepping through from southpaw and into orthodox, and throwing a thunderous right cross that sent Medeiros crashing to the canvas. The years following saw the incredible vision and accuracy in his trademark flurries to improve dramatically in what has turned him into one of the most feared lightweights on the planet. Smooth left uppercut and another right hand by Poirier. This was a combination. And a good left. Oh, they're exchanging here. Good shots underneath by Poirier. Very good point. Very good point here. To see. Oh, man, Poirier pouring it off. Oh, that was a hard right hook. Ooh, good uppercut. Nice, good, good again, shots by that's Poirier. That's it. That's stop punching Eddie Tag him. That's great. Left. A little low at the end of these combinations. Reactions with those feints. You see it? He's getting, yeah. he's getting reactions with the feints. Look at the angle. Oh, beautiful you know, left hand there yeah. by Poirier. Oh, 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 Very sharp using that straight left against the orthodox fight. He really does. His movement is excellent. His timing. Oh! oh! Allowing Alvarez to stay in the strike. Pulling it, pulling it on. Really hot right now, too, with this run he's on. Well, his patience is excellent as well, too. He's picking his shots well. His second fight with Eddie Alvarez showed a completely different Dustin to the one that had made his debut against Grisby all those years ago. Poirier added a pull counter and smart footwork to his growing toolbox, and the results were incredible. 12 to nil takedown ratio in his UFC career, he has never been taken down. After a back and forth battle, the always game Poirier stayed focused and slipped, parried, and sadly for Alvarez, countered. Seconds to go round two. These guys just caught up with a controversy. Oh! Big knee by Poirier, he's hurt! He hurt Alvarez! Alvarez is hurt again! Mark it off my list. Hey, your favorite artist, just another dish. Blood and staying lit, no capping over here. We your fool with swaggers, got the right idea. How could I spare see all these bikes? Oh, big knee! Alvarez is hurt! Alvarez is done! The flurries were no longer those of a young man looking to land damage, but of a seasoned veteran slipping and rolling with shots and returning fire brutally. Oh, nice comment. I mean, the pain crazy. He wants to keep moving back a little bit. Oh, oh yeah. That's why Alvarez had so much success. Going to the body. Because he 
crowd you so you can't extend your arms out. Oh. That was a heavy hook, though, that, that Corey AJ did. That's going to really pay dividends in the second round. Gaethje can throw the oh, nice combination by Poirier. Oh, wow. I mean, it's crazy watching Justin Gaethje fight. That leg. Nice combination. Nice combination by Poirier. Man. Moving okay, but some significant swelling in and around that right knee. Nice combination. Coming he gets right back up. Nice body shot. Furians in five round fights. This is the first time oh! we've seen a fourth. Big left hand lands by Poirier. Put the gram, what else for the gram? Don't dine on no swine, I'm about to go ham. She put the smoke. Gaethje's hurt bad. He's but he's hurt. been here before. Gaethje nearly out on his oh. feet. Poirier continues to land. But he does. My wife is space age. All aboard the mother. Oh, Poirier, he does it. Oh, my God, he does it. Dustin Poirier will always be the aggressive finisher. It is in his nature. But the improvements in his defensive awareness, patience, and accuracy is truly remarkable. My camp was, was a lot of boxing. We added some extra days of boxing, extra footwork days. I think it paid off. I have a great boxing coach, Diet Davis, who's put a lot of time into me. And, uh, you know, I really appreciate it. The rematch with Holloway was Poirier's magnum opus. Coming into the fight, many people believed that the changes Holloway had made to his striking and overall MMA game would be too much for Poirier. They couldn't have been more wrong. From the opening round, Holloway couldn't find his openings, with Poirier using his improved movement and defensive positioning to stop the pressure fighter from getting going. Straight up the gut. Oh! 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 Dustin's stance switching easily nullified the pull counters of Holloway. Every time Max thought he was safe, he would be met with brutal single shots from Dustin. Poirier even began to beat Holloway at his own game, slipping back and firing left straights from Southpaw, which discouraged Holloway. And when he couldn't rely on these things, he went back to his bread and butter, sheer toughness. Oh. Power discrepancy on display once again in that exchange. Poirier won the fight by decision and claimed the UFC interim lightweight title and finally put all of his improvements together for one sublime performance. There was a big difference between the amount of damage that Poirier landed, a big difference. He was hitting him with big shots, with really clean, well-timed shots, with great head movement, great movement. How about that knee? Dude, everything, man. Split open his head. Yeah, man. everything. He did everything. Unbelievable fight as we come down the stretch in round three. Final two and a half minutes. Very strong. I mean, these guys stand up in the car. I think I speak for all the diamond. Yeah.